who knows what's behind the schedule? There's, there's, we don't know that. We're just playing the schedule. But what we did, once you walked out all your early start, early finish, late start, late finish being the same day, you walked out your critical path, that's the longest period of time through the job. So if we trace our critical path, what was it? Footings, masonry, okay, we had steel, forgot steel. Roof. Steel, roof, electrical, finishes. Does that make sense? Okay. Any of y'all have Microsoft Project on your computers? I know you do. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's worth investing in, but uh, much easier in my way of thinking. Something that I found very, very effective is to just do stick diagrams, just like we're doing here in paper. Take a piece of paper, do an activity, add up your time. Okay. If you do that, then you get a, a program like Microsoft Project, it'll help you to actually give it a pictorial way. But any of y'all are interested in going further in that. What is that uh, program called? Microsoft Project. It's part of their office suite. If you're interested in learning more about it, let's talk later uh, about that. Um, that's on Monica instead of it, it may already be on your computer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. It's it's a part of the office suite. Help me here. So yeah. 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 Outlook, Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. OneNote. It looks like it's on there. Yeah, sure. Right beside Outlook on the bottom, on the task board. Yes. Sorry, that's Note, that's PowerPoint. Oh, sorry. Right, on the PowerPoint right there. Where is it? We don't have those. So, the green green. I got you. Here we go. Okay. So, uh, are you, can you talk about the blue? Yeah. <laughs> Under task, first task name there. Put footings. Next one below it, put masonry. Okay, then put steel. Then put uh, framing slash blocking. Okay, then do roofing. I never used it before. Okay, uh, then uh, do uh, exterior finishes. Do interior finishes. Okay, do storefront. Okay, and uh, that's good. So, under your duration there, under footings, put uh, temp. Masonry, put uh, 15. Oops, gotta go down the bottom there. Ten on steel and fifteen, five, uh, twenty, twenty-five, and just for sake of conversation, ten. Okay, first start up there. Mm -hmm. uh, put nine fifteen. Okay, and then under your predecessor on that line. See on the right? Yes. Put two. Excuse me, I'm sorry. One is what's supposed to be. Okay, not here. Right. One. So this is not Come down. To for your for your one is good. Then do two below that. What you can do if you're three. Four. Three. Five. Okay. Okay. Change your uh, scale up at the top.
So, as we look at our schedule up here on the screen, what we've done is basically a stick diagram to show related activities, okay? So, we started out with our first item, which is what? Those. Okay, and these are, in effect, those detail activities, okay? But when we get to here, what happens? We have activities that can both start at the same time. So, pictorially, on this very, very simple diagram we have here, you see how one activity relates to the other, okay? I go into uh, admin PM, and uh, folder. take a look at this particular schedule, which is one down in Macon, Georgia, that we're currently working on, you can see how we have related activities one to the other. So we started out, obviously, with erosion control and clearing, staking, rough grading. We had a retaining wall redesign. And you can see how one activity affects the other. You can see where we have a parallel activity, where things are going on at the same time. So let's roll this schedule forward from site work. To what we just were talking about, okay? So we start out. You ready, guys? I'm sorry. We got staking building corners, batter boards and layout, exterior wall footings, first footing pool, piers. And you see how everything relates coming down. You notice how the schedule ties activities one to the other. Okay? Obviously, we got a monthly time scale here. We could actually change that time scale, I think, if we wanted to. Make this a little bit bigger. So as we space this out into a weekly schedule, as opposed to a monthly schedule, you can see how activities move, okay? So we 
between stub out electrical services have to be done down here in CMU, okay? How much float do we have? You see your float? This is how float would be shown pictorially. Do you see that? Okay. We walk down a little bit further down the schedule. Indicates critical path, and what is that activity? 